What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'll be going over the top 25 ever VFL AFL stadiums in terms of games played. So I've sort of gathered through a list of every stadium that's ever been played in VFL AFL history and I've gone through the amount of games played and uh, it's a little bit similar to the other sort of ranking videos where I did the top 25 worst haircuts and the best logos. Now, obviously, I'm a bit down on uploads. I haven't uploaded in around a week, so apologies about that. Just to be a little bit busy. Now, let's kick in and start off at number 25 spot with 72 games, and this is University of Tasmania Stadium, which is also known as Aurora Stadium, York Park, whatever you want to call it. It's still in use today and has been since 2001. It used to be a St Kilda home ground, if uh, not, not too sure if many people knew that, but obviously it is now the current Hawthorne home ground and I'm pretty sure they play games, three games a year there based on like a contract, which is uh, yeah similar to what North Melbourne do at Blundstone. Now number 24, just with a one extra game at 73 games, we've got Giants Stadium. And now obviously this is the Giants home ground and it has been the Giants' main home ground since their first season in 2012. Now, number 23, we've got a little bit of a step up at 159 games. We've got the Adelaide Oval. Now, the stadium obviously still in use now, but the first ever game was actually played in 2011, but obviously a major redevelopment was done before 2014. Now, coming in at number 22 with 206 games, we've got Metricon Stadium. Now, obviously this stadium is still currently in use, but it has been in use since 1987 as it was the home ground for the Brisbane Bears uh, up until 1992. And obviously a major redevelopment was uh, put in before 2011 to support the new team, the Gold Coast Suns, and the Suns have been playing home games there ever since. Now, number 21 with 225 games, we've got a stadium that for once in the list so far is not a current one. In fact, this stadium hasn't been in use for over 100 years it is East Melbourne, the East Melbourne Oval, East Melbourne Ground. It actually was the original Essendon home ground before they moved to Windy Hill. And the ground was demolished in 1922, so there has been nothing seen of East Melbourne for 99 years. Yeah, I wonder what it is now, East Melbourne, but obviously isn't a footy ground. A ground that I'm a little bit more familiar with at number 20, with 254 games, we've got Moorabbin Oval. And this was obviously used as St Kilda's home ground before they did move to Waverley between 1965 and 1992. And look, I wouldn't mind if the Saints moved back to, to Moorabbin or at least played a few games there if we got maybe a bigger capacity. But the ground is still used as St Kilda's training ground and also AFLW games are played at the stadium as well. Now, number 19, another stadium that is still in use today. We've got the Gabba with 361 games and games have been played there since 1981. Now, the Gabba was the home ground for the Brisbane Bears between 1993 to 1996 and since 1997 has been the home of the Brisbane Lions and probably I would say the most notable game played at the Gabba was the last game played there which was the 2020 Grand Final which was arguably one of the worst Grand Finals in recent memory. Now number 18 spot with 371 games we've got Corio Oval, a ground that probably not too many guys did know and this is because it was played between 1897 and 1940 and was actually the inaugural home ground for the Cats before moving to Gardenia Park and 40 years later it was demolished in 1981. Now at number 17 with 416 games cracking the 400 game milestone we've got the SCG. Now you think that games probably started in, during the 1980s but actually the first game played at this SCG was in 1903. Now I don't really know why but the first proper use of the ground was in 1981 as it was first used as the Sydney Swans home ground and has obviously been the Swans home ground ever since. Now, number 16 with 443 games, more games than any other AFL player has played. This is Glenfrey Oval and it was the inaugural home ground of the Hawks until 1973, almost lasting 50 years. And the Hawks did use the ground for a further 34 years as a training ground up until 2006 where I'm pretty sure they moved to Waverley and they might even be moving to Dingley, uh, which is a strange decision. Now, number 15 with 458 games, a more well-known stadium, I'd like to say, especially for the South Australians out there. We've got Football Park, also known as Amy Stadium, and was used between 1991 and 2013. It was the first ever AFL ground used in Adelaide and it was the Port and Crows home ground up until 2013 before they moved to the Adelaide Oval, obviously, 
and it was then later demolished in 2018. Now, number 14, with 529 games, we've got Arden Street. It was another one of those original VFL grounds, and this time being the original North Melbourne home ground between 1925 and 1985. Now, currently the ground is still intact. However, it is only used as a training ground for the Roos as well as hosting AFLW games. Now, coming into number 13, with 544 games being played at the ground, we've got Punt Road, obviously Richmond's uh, former home ground and still used as their training ground. The ground was used between 1908 and 1964, so over 50 years ago, but obviously the Tigers now play their games at the G. And just like Arden Street to North, it is still used as a training ground, obviously, for the Tigers. Now, number 12, with 545 games, we've got the most ever games played at a non-Victorian stadium. We've got Subiaco Oval. Now, games played at this ground has spanned between 1987 and 2017. And similar to Football Park, it was the original home ground for both the Western Australian teams, Freo and West Coast, until, obviously, Optus Stadium was built and two years later Subiaco Oval was then later demolished in 2019. Now at number 11 with 612 games we've got Brunswick Street Oval. It was the original home ground of the then Fitzroy Football Club between 1897 and 1966 and uh, yeah hasn't really seen much since then. Now kicking in at number 10 this is for all you Essendon fans with 629 games we've got Windy Hill and this ground was Essendon's home ground for 70 years between 1922 and 1999 before closing and is still used as the primary home ground for the Essendon's reserves team. Now number 9 with 665 games, another original VFL stadium. We've got the Witten Oval, now obviously this one being the home ground for the Dogs and was their primary home ground ever since their first season in the VFL, 1925 all the way up to 1997. And yeah, the Dogs still play games there, VFL games there and as, as well as AFLW games. Now kicking in at number 8 spot, we've got a ground still used today with 682 games being played there. We've got Cadinia Park, also known as GMHBA Stadium. I'm pretty sure next year is the 80th year that footy has been played there ever since 1941. And uh, yeah, the ground obviously saw a lot of sub upgrades and redevelopments and I think holds 36,000 people as well. Now at number 7 with 704 games, we've got Lake Oval which I think is now known as Lakeside Stadium and it was the primary home ground of South Melbourne Swans before relocating to Sydney in 1982 and probably most notably it also hosted the 1901 VFL Grand Final but now it serves as an administrative base for Athletics Victoria. Now number 6 with 732 games played, we've got Waverley Park, also known as VFL Park. Originally, this ground was actually scheduled to be bigger than the MCG. However, it didn't really end up being what they hoped for as it was only served as a neutral ground for the Victorian teams throughout the VFL and AFL and then became the primary home ground for the Hawks and the Saints in the late 90s. Now, moving to the top five and number five was 734 games. We've got the Junction Oval. Now, this ground was the original home ground for the Saints between 1897 and 1964 and then became Fitzroy's home base between 1970 and 1984 and now the ground is mainly used for cricket primarily for women's cricket matches and number four almost getting to the 900 games mark we've got Victoria Park with 880 games and it was used for over a hundred years as Collingwood's major home ground up until 1999 before obviously moving to the MCG and it now hosts VFL and AFLW matches. All right, now it's time to get into the top three and at number three, with 942 games, we've got Marvel Stadium. Now this ground's only been used since 2000 and it would make sense considering it is served as a home ground for a lot of Victorian teams, St Kilda, North Melbourne, Western Bulldogs, Essendon and Carlton. And I would say it could almost top the 1000 game mark in 2021. Let me know if that's possible. Uh, but I reckon it actually might be. Now, number two, with a whopping 1,277 games, we've surprisingly got Princess Park. It was used between 1897 and to 2005, obviously serving as Carlton's home ground, but also serving as a home ground for Fitzroy Hawthorne and Western Bulldogs for some period of time. All right, so now it's time to move into number one spot. Now, monstering second spot with 2,903 games. Obviously, not coming to any surprises, we've got the MCG. Now, obviously, it comes to no surprises as it is the biggest ground on this list with a capacity of over 100,000. Yeah, Monsters, the other stadiums that I've mentioned on the list by over double the amount. 
Uh, it was actually Melbourne's home ground ever since 1897 and Richmond's home ground since 1964. And is also home to Collingwood, Hawthorne, Carlton and occasionally Essendon. And it has also hosted every VFL, AFL grand final bar 10. So on that note, I reckon we wrap it up right there. If you guys did enjoy, let me know. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different, but something I can continue doing considering that video ideas are a little bit hard to come by. But I do have a few exciting video ideas that I'll be planning to get out over the next few weeks. Cheers guys for watching the video and I'll see you guys soon in my next one.